Avengers Infinity War has left many questions in people's minds. And I feel like my, I myself, by myself, wouldn't be able to answer these questions by myself. So I'm brought in my good friend, Nick Mason. Oh, he had, he had to read that off his hand. <laughs> this is, uh, I enjoy that you started off with your professional, your YouTube man voice. It's a twist and a half, and mate. And then you tumbled into regular man voice. Correct. Which is good. Uh, we're going to answer some burning questions, some Ow. unanswered questions. Too hot. Too hot. Uh, about Avengers Infinity War, there's going to be spoilers uh, for that movie. Spoilers galore. If you have any questions of your own or answers of your own, please feel free to leave them below. But these are some of the ones that have been posed to us and also that have come across our little minds. Uh, the first one that we've talked about quite a bit in our podcast, The Weekly Planet, which people can check out, is Thanos' powers. In what relation- are they? What e- exactly. It's a bit vague, isn't it? He can turn a gun to bubbles. Yep. Uh, he can make a weird hologram. He can phase a thing. He can fist fight the Hulk. But he can also fist fight, but he can also turn people to spaghetti. So it's kind of like, why is he entertaining a fist fight when he can do literally literally anything for a lot of this movie. That's true. Well, I mean, initially he can only, he entertains the fist fight. Yeah. Because apparently he wants to have a bit of a laugh. Mm. But also at that point he only has the space stone, I think. No, the uh, power stone. He has the power stone. Okay. Yeah. Well, that throws my entire argument because I was going to say he can only teleport, but he could <laughs> have shot a big purple ray of death at the Hulk and killed him instantly. Exactly. My only reasoning behind it is that he's just toying with people. Because yeah, right. every fight that he seems to be in, and there's only a, like moments where he feels vulnerable, where, that's like where he's piled upon. Yes, right. Because even when, like, when he's fighting Tony Stark one-to-one, Tony Stark finally gets a hit in, and it's just it's barely a it's scratch. It's a spec, exactly. Yeah. Is, yeah. And also, yeah, that he, he's, he seems to be projecting this illusion not literally but metaphorically sure. but he can do it literally but metaphorically <laughs> that he's being dispassionate about this and it's all for the greater good yeah. but it seems in a lot of instances he just really enjoys killing people and yeah. hurting people and what have you so uh, absolutely I think does. there might be a bigger reveal like do you think that that there's going to be a big reveal in the next one that, that he's just a lunatic I think he has genuine feelings for Gamora uh-huh. but I think the whole play of wiping out half the universe a lot of it is just to prove that he was right that one time on yeah, his right. planet Yeah, I don't think he really cares about yeah. anything and the fact that I guess everybody he presumably everybody he knew and loved yeah at that time also died yeah right that would yeah. that would that'd wreck you i think yeah maybe yeah questions regarding where hawkeye was and the film answers that by saying him and ant-man are under house arrest because they've got families that i'm gonna yep. get drawn into anything else again i like to think that they're on house arrest together oh definitely yeah it's a real it's a real odd couple situation <laughs> who do you think's neat and who well ant-man's obviously messy and hawkeye's really neat who's got the better bod who's rocking the better bod currently yeah hawkeye We've never seen, but we've I, never seen him shirtless. We don't um, know. No, no. I'm saying the other. Uh, I'm saying of the characters, Hawkeye would generally have the better body. Sure, I think. and but he'd I think be the better fighter. But I think actor wise, I think they're probably exactly the same. You're probably right. Yeah. Uh, I think though, that where Hawkeye's going to go in the future is when Thanos wipes out half the universe. In his particular scenario, it's just him left, and his family were killed. Yeah. And that's what brings him back in, and that's they could work in the Hawkeye Ronan story where he's. Where his family are murdered. And that's th- those odds are bad. Yeah, exactly. It's a 50-50 because yeah. he's got like a wife and like three kids. That's it. That's a similar thing happens in The Leftovers yeah, right. uh, to one of the characters. That's a good incentive for a guy to come back who doesn't even come back when there's a giant alien yeah, right. invasion. Because he's just, with Civil War, he's not really that keen. He's just kind of that's doing, true. it seems like doing he's doing job, as a yeah. favor. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think it would take something like that to bring him to bring him back. I think you're absolutely yeah. right. And to get that haircut. Absolutely. Here's another question. Oh, another question. When Red Skull was shot into space yes. and he appears on that planet. V- Vormir. Vormir. V- Vormir. Was, who was there to give him a job? A was, was there a series of instructions? Did he take over from the previous guy who'd been shot into space? Yeah. What happens now the Soul Stone is gone? Is he free? All those are really good questions. Did he have to work up to that managerial position? Did he was make his, his own robe? <laughs> did he did make he his show, own... Did he show up nude? Is it made of smoke? Who knows? Yeah. Because he can fly also. He can hover. What happened between him getting shot into space yeah, yeah, yeah. and him instructing people how to yeah. pick up a stone? He's, he's become he's some sort of cosmic janitor. There must be a boss, is all I'm saying. Yeah, and what happened is he, he showed up and the boss immediately got him to mopping the floors. Sure. And then he did a good job on that and then the boss gave him the job on the fryer later. <laughs> yeah, right. And then eventually he worked his way up and now he's assistant manager. Yeah, but now his job no, no longer exists. He's, re- he's redundant. No, he's like a coal miner without a mine. Nah, because of destiny and whatever, whatever. I think he'll just be hanging out there. Yeah. Because eventually the soul stone's probably going to come back. Yeah, and he'd sure. Be like, 
all right, I'm doing it again. <laughs> or he maybe he is free. Yeah. Because I would kind of like to see him just come back. I agree. I'd like to see him come back. Maybe he's got some cosmic powers now. Yeah, right. And he's just back on Earth and he's causing trouble again. Not every character got a lot of play in this movie, Mason. That's I, true. I know you'd, you'd agree with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, we didn't see the Hulk a lot. Yes. Initially, we saw a bit of the Hulk and then we saw none of the Hulk instead of flashes of him bursting out of Bruce Banner. What do you think was the reason behind him not wanting to fight? Do you think it was he was afraid? Do you think he's embarrassed? Do you think he's... <laughs> I think a lot of it might be that because he's like a two-year-old because he's been the Hulk for two years. Yeah, that's true. And he's just having a tantrum. Yeah, exactly. He's in the terrible twos. Yeah. I think you're absolutely right. We've, you've got a kid in the terrible somethings, some, <laughs> somewhere around that region. He's about right? that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do, does that ring true to you? And they're all about no at that, at that age. I they think you're absolutely are, right. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I think it's a common... I think it is. He's afraid. Yeah. Because he was trounced so... That wasn't even He's a never lost a fight like that. No, he's never lost it so very easily. Yeah, he has lost. Like, he, he lost a Thor. Or he nearly mm. lost a Thor on, in Ragnarok. Yeah. And he got beat up by the Hulkbuster. Yeah. But it was just like three punches That's true, down. yeah. Yeah. I mean, Tony Stark had to drop him through a building. Yeah, that's right. And even then, you know? And even then, yeah. He kind of just gave up at the end anyway. Mm. You posed this question. Oh, hello. Uh, and in the moment where they were trying to get the gauntlet off Thanos, you said, why didn't they just cut off his arm? Like Doctor Strange make a portal like he did with that that other uh, It literally Black happens earlier in the movie. take his arm right off. Uh, ben- Benedict Wong, as yeah. Wong, yeah. closes his sling ring teleporter field thing around yeah. the guy's arm and it comes off. Yes. So why didn't they do that with, with Thanos? And look, we've, we've come up with a couple of working theories. Yes. One is that's just not going to work on him. Yeah. Because he's got access to the space stone mm. that maybe he can just shut portals off that are going to try to do that. Yeah, exactly. That, I mean, that raises a further question of why he wouldn't just shut off all the portals. Yeah. Like, why wouldn't he shut off the portal that Spider-Man is using to kick him in the face or the portal that Mantis uses to drop on him? Sure. But maybe you just can't use a portal on him physically. Right, yeah. Maybe that's maybe that's the key. Or, as we've talked about before, Doctor Strange has seen the future. He's seen the many alternate potential futures in which most of which humanity loses. Yes. And all of all of the universe loses and one in which they succeed. Yes. And it seems to me that the one future in which humanity wins is the one in which Thanos does get the Infinity Gauntlet. Right. Could you think also Doctor Strange, if he saw the future scenario, he would have stopped Peter Quill Hitting him in the face. Yeah, for sure. See, that's like he the thing. allowed that to play out. He could have could have chopped him in half of the portal. Exactly. He could have. I mean, the portals definitely work on Peter Quill. So he yeah. could have just opened a portal under his feet and dropped him to the other side of the planet. It yeah. would have been really easy. Yeah. And again, we've, we've talked about this. If it turns out that this wasn't Doctor Strange's plan all along at the end of Avengers 4, these are going to be issues that are annoying Absolutely. about this movie. Yeah. He says something along the lines of that to Tony Stark. This is the only that this is the only way or whatever. Yeah, right. To me, I took that as, oh no, the plan was never to get his gauntlet. The plan was to, to let this play out yeah. as is and then down the line, Here's a, you fix it. This has been asked of me. Yeah. Do you think, and I think it is, but do you think Doctor Strange knew he was going to die? Yes. I agree also. 100%. Yeah. 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 So do you think he can see futures that, of which he is not a part of? I guess so. Definitely. I, think he, I, don't, I don't think he was part of any of those futures. Yeah, right. I think whatever happened... He was going to get killed. Yeah. So so do you think that in all the futures, the people that were going to die due to the Infinity Gauntlet are the same every time? I think in every other scenario, Thanos kills all of them. Yeah, right. Yeah. Or most of them. Yeah, right. Do you think one of them is the killing blow, maybe? Potentially, absolutely. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. I think maybe with Tony Stark starting the universe, he's the one who ends it. Yeah, right. Wow. Yeah. Final question, though. Yes. This struck me during the moment where Nick Fury... Half a brick. Half... That was from me. If the oh, question is who was... Did you see who did it? It was me. Oh, I did it. no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You looked at your, your <laughs> mobile phone for one second. I'm like, I'm not having this. Half a brick. And I got one half a brick left over for anybody else. <laughs> That's why I stood up and I screamed, is there anybody else who wants half a brick? I bricked one guy. I'll brick another guy. Anyway, it doesn't matter. At the end, when he calls Captain Marvel, first of all, does he have that pager on him the entire time? Good question. Like his hi- entire career. He must have. Yeah, I think so. Because it looks like a 90s pager that's been modified to reach space or, or another time. dimension or time. Exactly. Yeah. So he's either going to call Captain Marvel through time or space or dimension. I think she's space. Yeah, yep. See next I think March. it's space and time. Yeah, could be. I think, like I said earlier, I think she's trapped in the 90s. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I know, right? That's a nightmare. jagged little pill to swallow, Mason. <laughs> Isn't it, though? Very good. Yeah. Nick Fury's a guy who plans for every eventuality, yeah. I guess, to some degree. I mean, he didn't plan for the fact that there were two planes taking off the helicopter, the helicarrier <laughs> no. that time. He could he have double-shouldered rocket launchers. Exactly. <laughs> he could have stopped it before it happened. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I think maybe he had some sort of inkling because he heard about the energy signatures. Yeah. And I think maybe he went to his secret safe of secret... 
Okay. Really, yeah. really bad stuff is happening. Backup plan safe. Yeah. And he went, okay, I need the Captain Marvel beeper. Because that was going to be my qu- my other question was, why didn't he call her during the Chitari invasion, during the Ultron attack, yeah. during the Civil War? There was a, that airport was uh-huh. toast, mate. She yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So do you think it was in those scenarios, he goes, that wasn't called That's for? That's not bad enough. Yeah. That, yeah. Okay. I yeah. think he's got a, like Samuel L. Jackson himself, he's got a finely honed strategic and tactical mind. And he yeah. went, the Avengers have got this. The Avengers have got this. It's fine. And at this point, he's like, oh, they don't. Yeah, yeah, right. They really okay. need some help here. All right, that'll do it though, Mason. Nice. Now, actually, we've done more extensive answers to all of this and more in our latest episode of The Weekly Planet, which came out on Monday. It's linked below. We go through Avengers Infinity War in great detail. Ad nauseum. Ad nauseum. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can find that. There's also videos here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So many There's a videos. bunch of other Infin- Infinity War stuff here if you want to check it out, including an Easter egg video. And I hope that everybody just has a fun day. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were going to say a fun girl infection. <laughs> you don't want that. If that makes your day fun, you could have it. I guess so. You could, it's really satisfying to scratch. No, you know? I don't like it. I'm not a fan. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Grab that jammy, guys. We'll see you next week. Oh, like and subscribe, I guess.